Alrighty, thanks for tuning in one more time. Thank you for clicking on this thumbnail. These are all the reverbs in this uh, little gem. This is the Matry Box from Sonic Cake. It is an all-in-one effects unit. There's another video on our channel that sort of goes over all the features, the ins and outs, all the different amps and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but today we are going to go through all the reverbs and you can see here I've got the uh, Matry Box software up on my Mac. Just to give you all a better visual representation of what's actually going on here. All right, so let's start at the very start. Um, I've just got a, um, okay, so you can see here I've got like a Supro. Got a Supro amp in there with a Supro cab. Everything else is turned off, um, except for the noise reduction, because I like that. It is a tiny bit noisy, as you expect. Uh, and then I've got my reverb block here at the very end. Okay, so the first one is this room. So there's not much to it. You can get it to cut off quite abruptly, or you can get it to ring out a lot. Now, the mix goes all the way down to zero, so there's nothing. Dry as a dead dingo's donger. At 50%, it is not, um, as you would think, half volume. That is actually unity with your guitar. And then at 100%, it is actually no dry guitar at all and all wet. And this goes for all of the reverbs as well. Plus, you got your trails on and off button there as well. So uh, anyway, there's the next. The second one is the hole. So with all of these, I'm going to put the mix up to sort of around 50%. First time off, I don't like the pre-delay. No, that's not a Sonic Egg thing. That is a Matt Peter Fry thing. I don't like the. Uh, I don't like having any pre-delay on my reverb. Oh, unless I'm doing uh, a slapback delay, I like that sometimes. So I'm going to crank everything up so you can give it a good listen. Beautiful. I'm just going to crank it all the way up so you can hear just the reverb. There's a lovely, lovely whole reverb again. Trials on and off. I'm pretty sure all of them have trials on and off. Uh, the next one, I'll bump this up to 50. I'll just type it in, eh? That's probably quicker and easier. Turn the pre-delay off. Turn the decay all the way up. Oh, wow. That's much bigger and broader and longer tails in the uh, trails than the whole reverb. Now would probably be a good time to mention that these are all in full stereo you're hearing today. Turn the pre-delay up for you a bit so you can have a listen to it too. Oh, 
Lovely, lovely, big, expansive church reverb there. All right, this one's a plate. We'll crank this one up. Give it heaps of decay. Now, this has got a, uh, a damp control on it rather than a um, pre-delay. Turn the high damp all the way up, see if, what that does. Uh, it takes all the top end off it. I'll bring it all the way back. Makes a really big difference, doesn't it? That is a lovely plate reverb. Next is the spring. We'll see if we can get a bit of a uh, drip out of this, a bit of a twang. Pretty cool. Turn the tone up. It does have that drippy, springy boing to it, doesn't it? Cool, turn the tone all the way down. Tone all the way back up. That's with no dry signal on it, just you can really hear the spring. A lot of guys are really fussy about their spring reverbs, and so, so they should be. I think I've done a great job of capturing the uh, the spring boing in there. All right, this is the Sky. Now, this only has two settings. And this is a big sort of octave reverb, I think. Bear with me, we'll soon find out. We'll go on a little adventure together. Let's take the dry signal completely out so you can just hear the reverb.
Beautiful sound. It's got a tremolo in there or something like that as well. There's a bit of modulation. Now, this next one is the C. Whoa, it's very modulated. All right, we'll turn the mix up here. We'll turn the decay up. Make sure I'm still in tune here. Yeah, that's just the uh, reverb angle rhythm with a uh, sounds like a uh, vibrato on it. We'll turn the mix all the way up and have a listen. Yeah, that's pretty out there, isn't it? Crazy. All right, lucky last is the mod verb. Now this is the one that has the most little uh, sliders to muck around with. Turn the mix up. Turn the decay up and the pre-delay down. Turn that high end all the way up. Turn everything up fully so we can just hear the actual reverb itself. That's pretty gorgeous. else I can say about it really this is the Sonic Cake Matcha Box this is all the reverbs that are in it I hope you enjoyed that um, there's some really nice ambient stuff in there and some really good meat and potato sounds like the plate the room and the uh, spring reverb as well so that's really nice that they've added those in I think the next video we're going to do is about the delays and they will be in full stereo as well so hang about hopefully you uh, got to hear the sounds that you wanted to hear if you're deciding to buy this I uh, highly recommend it not just because they gave me one for nothing to show you but uh, because I just I've had it for about a week now and I still haven't put the bloody thing down I've been practicing with headphones on with it and having a great time anyway there's another whole video on there go check it out um, if you want to check out the entire box in a you know 10 minute video Thanks for tuning in. Give us a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. If you haven't already, it really helps the channel out a lot. And we really appreciate you spending some time with us. So uh, thank you. We'll see you next time. And bye.